because they are, uh, you know, not the main source of travel or they have lost their importance, become a kind of an uh, in-between space. Welcome, a very warm welcome to all of you once again. Uh, Periphery, which is the residency project that the artists have been running um, since 2007, is a very special project that I was able to encounter during a visit to Guwahati in India last year. So what you have there is a very beautiful river called the Brahmaputra. It's a major river. Um, and you, um, Sonal and Ridang uh, over the last couple of years have rented this, uh, rather leased, this government ferry, which is a, a stationary and banked on um, uh, across the Brahmaputra. And every uh, couple of months, they invite uh, filmmakers and artists from all over the world, um, mainly from Europe until now, uh, to come and engage with them um, in, a, in, a, in a set of workshops and residencies in Guwahati. They've also invited uh, in the past curators and writers and artists from India to conduct various uh, academic and uh, production-based workshops in Guwahati. And the idea there is that it's really a, a mixed-use space that's part production-oriented, part discussion-based, part community building and, and it's really against the odds that this is happening. A lot of our work is uh, in the public realm and also is trying to engage with uh, public spaces. It definitely tries to go beyond uh, you know, just the product and the white cube space. We have, uh, we have situated ourselves in the northeastern borders of India, which mm -hmm. maybe you are not really aware of which is somewhere, you know, plugged in between South and Southeast Asia, between Bangladesh and, you know, uh, and Bhutan or Tibet. So the border has been till now a very crucial factor in deciding what we do, how do we define our subjectivity and uh, what is subjectivity and why we work as a collective. So, and secondly, we have Ben Stop uh, uh, from London. Uh, from uh, he uh, he defines uh, he uh, he initiates something called difference exchange and we have been trying to do a project called two rivers between Brahmaputra and Thames and it's still in Ethiopia uh, states so uh, so again uh, what we're going to present today is basically a vague uh, kind of constellation from uh, from uh, from being singular plural uh, uh, to something called speaking truth to power so basically uh, this is uh, things. There is no wall between the viewers. But we are also viewing. It is the history of sight. We are telling to whom? Do we have a static enemy? Do we have an audience who doesn't move? What will be the nature of the speech? What is an apparatus? What is contemporary? We invite you all on an imaginary journey from here to there, mapping our speeches, bypassing the apparatuses, walking upon movements and perceptions. All the questions put forward which lead these acts and apparatus lead us to observe uh, Gambon has said, we perceive in the darkness of the present this light that strives to reach us but cannot. That is what it means to be contemporary. Expressions doesn't crystallize into a unifying form. Instead, the expression is a proliferation of different lines of growth. The work resembles crabgrass, a bewildering multiplicity of stems and roots which can cross at any point to form a variety of possible connections. Reading can participate in these connections. A reader makes connections as he reads. He need not interpret and say what the text means. He can discover where passages in the text lead, with what they can be connected. The result is not an interpretation but a map, a tool with which to find a way. The map is the production of an experimental reading. The word experiment being used here as John Cage uses it, not as a descriptive description of an act to be later judged in terms of success and not failure, but simply as an act, the outcome of which is unknown. A way of provoking debate, uh, so it's not that we're trying to steer away the debate from one which is handed down to us by scientists and, and governments and, and specialists and so on, to one which is a more sort of a, a kind of flat or democratic debate, if you like, which is coming from the bottom upwards, which involves artists interrogating the whole notion of climate change from a, from a creative point of view. 
what kind of commodity is the art commodity? And how is it produced by human labor? Who profits from it and how? And is that profit, profit Mehrwert or surplus value? I'd like to shift from considering the career of serving <coughs> art as opposed to other art and look instead at the economic and, if you will, value theoretical side of the production of contemporary art, at least the type that is shown in galleries and shown and sold on the market. I'm doing my own uh, media project uh, called Beyond Peace because we need to seek uh, political or social things uh, beyond what they call peace there. There are so many restrictions uh, by the government, we can't access different loca in some locations and we can't work in some uh, areas related to that, actually, uh, as Sona said, uh, related to that uh, incident. Uh, it's, a, it's a different <laughs> experience there, actually. 